But let's begin with the latest on the investigation of possible sex trafficking by Republican Congressman Matt Gates of Florida. The New York Times was first to report federal investigators are looking into whether Gates had a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl and whether he paid for her to travel with him across state lines. When asked about the allegation Tuesday night, the congressman, who denies any relationship with a 17-year-old, said he did nothing wrong, claimed it was part of an effort to extort him and his family. Law enforcement officials now tell NBC News the sex trafficking investigation into Congressman Gates and the extortion allegations made by Gates are two separate investigations. There also is new information on the investigation that put Congressman Gates on the radar of the Justice Department. Federal officials telling NBC News the investigation into the congressman began last year when an associate, former Seminole County, Florida tax collector Joel Greenberg, was indicted on charges tied to his alleged harassment of a political opponent. Officials say Greenberg, pictured here with Gates and Roger Stone in 2017, misused his position as tax collector to create fake IDs for himself. That investigation led to a second superseding indictment alleging that he used the Florida Motor Vehicle Database to obtain information on individuals with whom he was engaged in, quote, sugar daddy type relationships. So it is mm -hmm. out of that investigation, officials tell NBC News, authorities developed a lead that led them to investigate whether Gates was involved with sex trafficking in underage girl. Greenberg's attorney released a statement saying, quote, right now we're preparing for the upcoming trial date in June. Joel maintains his innocence and has previously pleaded not guilty. A lot to suss through there. Let's bring in national correspondent at Politico, Betsy Woodruff Swan, and professor in law at Georgetown University, Paul Butler. He is an MSNBC legal analyst. Good morning to you both. So, Betsy, I understand you talked to Matt Gates' father, a prominent political figure in the state of Florida. Help us separate out what's going on here, because there seems to be this claim of an extortion plot from the Gates's that goes in parallel and separate from this other investigation from the Justice Department into possible sex trafficking that spun out of the investigation into Joel Greenberg. Right. My colleague, Matt Dixon, who's been covering Tallahassee very closely for a long time, had a detailed conversation with John Gates, Matt Gates's father, yesterday. John is very wealthy, a former longtime sort of consummate insider, Tallahassee politician. And in a detailed interview, he told us on the record that he's worn a wire multiple times as part of an effort to try to help the FBI investigate what he and his son purport to be an extortion plot targeted at their family. The important thing for people to remember here who may be getting a little lost by the very soap opera -y threads that, that seem to be unfolding is that it's possible all the allegations that have been laid out, both by Matt Gates, by his father John Gates, and reportedly, which the FBI is investigating, could be correct. Matt and his father say that there was a they say that there was an effort spent to pressure them to pay $25 million to help with the rescue of Bob Levinson. Now, Bob Levinson is a man who was a hostage, who's taken hostage by the Iranian government. He's a U.S. citizen. He's widely reported to have passed away or have been passed away for quite some time. But despite that, the Gateses say that they were pressured to put up $25 million to try to help to fund his rescue from Iran, and they say that the, that the that the offer was pay up this $25 million and it will make you an American hero. It will make the Biden administration delighted with you. It will fix your reputational problems and then problem solved. This whole FBI problem will go away. Now, Matt Gaines and his father say that that was an extortion plot, that that's the real story, that the investigations involving Joel Greenberg and potential allegations into the congressman himself are specious. And people need to be focusing on these on the extortion allegations that they're making instead. Of course, critics of the, of the Gates family say that this is a distraction. And the important thing for viewers to remember is that it's possible there's more than one cohort of, uh, shall we say, questionable folks involved in this increasingly lurid Florida political saga. Uh, Betsy, explain um, sort of the interesting nuances of the Bill Barr angle of this, um, because this started under his time serving as attorney general. 
That's right. What I can tell you is that the attorney is that then Attorney General Bill Barr was briefed multiple times on the Gates investigations starting in summer 2020. Early in 2020, he sent down a memo requiring that senior DOJ leadership receive briefings on any investigation into anyone running for federal office. So he received those briefings and it actually created a slightly uncomfortable moment for senior leadership at DOJ. What I'm told is that Barr was scheduled to attend a meet and greet with members of the with Republican members of the House Judiciary Committee last summer. But when Matt Gates RSVP'd for the event, Barr had to abruptly cancel because he didn't want to be in a situation where he was having a private meeting with someone who was under investigation simultaneously by the FBI. And that raises the uh, very awkward specter of a member of the congressional committee that's responsible for funding and overseeing the FBI simultaneously, according to these reports, being under investigation by that same law enforcement agency. So, Paul Butler, uh, we should underline that Congressman Gates has been charged with anything, denies any involvement with this 17-year-old. But as a prosecutor, as you're looking at this sort of stew of elements that go into the story, these different people and an extortion plot and Robert Levinson in Iran, where is your focus and where do you see the legal exposure for Congressman Gates? So, Willie, there are three investigations going on right now. It's a federal crime to induce a minor to travel over state lines for sex in exchange for money. That's what Gates is being investigated for, violating the federal sexual trafficking laws. And then we have this extortion investigation, someone allegedly trying to extort Gates and his family to make the Justice Department investigation go away. Betsy is absolutely right. Both things can be true. Gates can be the perpetrator of one crime and the victim of another. But Gates has to be especially worried about this third investigation of Joel Greenberg. That's the Florida official and good friend of Gates who has already been indicted for child sex trafficking. And Greenberg violated his bail. So he's locked up right now pending his trial in June. So Willie, he has a lot of incentive to cooperate in an investigation of Gates. So in that investigation of Gates, if I'm a federal prosecutor, I'm trying to talk to Joel Greenberg to see if he wants to make a deal. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.